Hey everyone, Lee Constantin here, founder of Personal Trainers Elite. Um, and I'm joined here with Jesse today, who is inside the Personal Trainers Elite Academy. He's over in Canada. And so we're just gonna have a quick chat about his time in the program so far, um, some of the things that he's learned, some of the things he's doing to kind of show you behind the scenes. So before we connected Jesse um, and you joined Personal Trainers Elite Academy, like what were you doing inside your business and what was the, the main problems that you want solved? So I, I was struggling a lot with um, attaining clients. You know, I've, uh, I, I've spoken to multiple people before I've met you and everyone's kind of led me to the same thing. And they said, uh, focus on organic marketing, post on Instagram and, and, um, and all that stuff. You know, they, they made it seem like um, social media was the be all end all for attaining clients. And, uh, being someone who's not so much into the social media scene myself, I had a very, very hard time with this. Um, and I find this is where it was really hurting my business. You know, I saw a bunch of people around me, some coworkers and stuff who would post on Instagram and they would get leads after one post. And um, I was posting what I thought would be a, a quality post and have my call to actions and all that good stuff. And I would get nothing out of it. You know, I just get a bunch of likes, but Unfortunately, likes don't bring you clients. So um, I started to just get frustrated and just kind of gave up on the whole trying to post every day and have these quality posts. And I just found it was very tedious on my end and I didn't enjoy the process. It was kind of turning me sour towards the whole, uh, whole experience I had with trying to grow my business in that aspect. Right, right. And, and you know, you've got like over 10,000 followers now, right? So you know, it's not like you just did it for a week. You actually gave it a good go. Is that right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And you, you know, you jumped in with some other programs. I know you mentioned that that was just kind of all they taught, right? Just post on Instagram, send some DMs and that was it. Yeah, exactly. So it, it's not to speak ill of the other programs. I just think that their methods were definitely not uh, suited or tailored towards someone that may have been in my position. Right. Um, uh, at some point, I did have a large volume of clients, but I never understood my worth. So I was working with 30 clients for um, maybe like less than 3K a month, which is it's pennies when you really think about it. It's like $100 a month per person, which is really not much. Um, and And they were just more or less preaching on how to you know know your value and everything, which is all great. But now my issue is trying to find these higher... Uh, higher paying clients and, and higher quality clients, right? And they kind of just circled back to the uh, organic marketing aspect every time something was brought up. And I just thought that, yeah, maybe this could be great for someone that's got a, a huge following and who's very active and who gets a lot of um, traction to their page. Um, I unfortunately don't, even though I have a huge following, I don't have the same kind of traction to my page as someone else who might. So for me, um, it just, it wasn't really working, the whole organic marketing. Right, right. And so, you know, what drew you to, you know, joining the academy and working with me? Like, what was the thing that made you feel like, hey, well, I want to want to jump on board? Um, multiple things, actually. The, the level of professionalism, uh, the fact that I, I, I feel like you genuinely care for the individuals and not just the conglomerate of people that are in your academy. I feel like you really give your time of day to each and every single person. Um, and when I text you, I don't get a text back four days later, which is, uh, um, I, I know on your part, it's, it's probably very hard because you're managing over, I don't even know how many students, but the fact that you still go above and beyond to even write back, even if it's a silly question, like, hey, Lee, can you just confirm the time, you know, the difference in time zones? Um, you, you actually get back, which for me is, is, is big, right? Because we're all in here because we have our own battles and we're struggling, right? So the fact that you actually show up and you write and you reach out to us, it shows that you care. And this is not something that you can put a price tag on, right? This is, um, you can't teach, you can't teach this to people. This is, um, um, it, it's a, it's a priceless, uh, value, right? Um, the level of quality of everything you provide, the level of detail, um, all everything everything that you get that the amount of value that you just get from your program and i'm only like halfway through you know what i mean and just still like already my mind's been blown it's uh 
it's crazy. I think like all the tools you provide, if someone's unable to succeed with all these tools, um, it's definitely not the academy. I think it's more the person at that point. So I definitely think that you have given above and beyond um, in terms of value and your, your time to each and every single person. And I think that um, no matter what you price your academy at, it's 100% worth it, I'll tell you that much. I appreciate you sharing that, Jesse. Yeah, because, you know, there are a lot of people who, who you know, are looking outwards now for help and guidance. And there is a lot of skepticism, and naturally so, just like there are a lot of skeptic people looking for personal trainers and coaches out there. And, and so to be able to, to hear that as a confirmation that, you know, you're happy with, with everything and, and you can see the value, that, that's awesome. And so, um, you know, I know it's early days still. So like what are some of the results that you've seen so far, even though you just touched on a few of the modules, what are some of the things you've um, kind of seen as a result? Um, the biggest thing was just like, understanding my value even more so right and um i guess just having someone to compare it to someone who's who's done all of these steps before and who's been successful and one of my greatest challenges was to be able to look at someone and be like these are the prices of my services and not feel like i got to dwindle down my prices to suit their needs um uh, you put yourself in a position where they feel like they're doing a disservice by not taking your service. And this was something that I struggled with a lot. And since I've kind of gained a new confidence and um, have kind of brought my programming and everything to the next level, I feel better to offer these new price points to clients. And um, I don't feel bad charging people, you know, $400 a month for coaching or whatever it may be, because I feel like this is now what I'm worth, right? It worth even more. Um, but for me, that was the greatest thing. And this is what was preventing me from uh, making the income that I believe I deserve because there's no one out there that, that should be coaching 30 plus people and be making under 3k a month. It's just nonsensical. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much so far what I've, I've gotten um, the, the biggest point that stuck out to me at least this far in the course right um you, you teach us about how to do proper consultations and stuff and i think this can be very good for someone that doesn't have that level of experience with consultations i've done it for a couple of years before so I, i'm fairly confident in my ability to, to speak to someone and kind of target them um but just again even the level of detail you go into um finding your pain points and kind of making that initial sale right away, I think is, is something that a lot of people can take home with them. Um, it's, it's something that my team struggles with personally, not me, but those that work for me is locking down the sales. Mm -hmm. So I think that that's a very, very important point, right? Cause you can have all the tools in the toolbox. Um, if you can't get a person to say yes to your sales, then you're not putting anything to use. Right. So right. I think this is one of the most important things. Right. And, and that's what a lot of trainers do, right? They end up having a lot of great tools and apps and ways of training their clients, but not really a process and a system for signing people up. So that's great to hear that you have that level of confidence now, Jesse, that you can charge your value. So how much more are you charging, you know, percent wise or how much more, you know, typically were you charging before? How much more do you feel comfortable and confident to charge now? Definitely. So when I had started right before I met you, I was charging $150 for my full panel coaching. So it was including uh, biweekly check-ins with the body fat test, um, the customized nutrition plan, the new workout plan every four to six weeks um, and, and all that uh, for 150 bucks a month. Now I charge more or less the same service, but I'm giving less of my time. I got on the first month, I have the initial check-in and the final check-in. And then after that, it's just going to be a check-in at the end of every month. Uh, the customized nutrition plan, the customized workout plan, I have access to the closed Facebook group and where I'm going to post more content. Um, they have access to the new documentations that I put together. They're more user-friendly on their end. Um, I was charging $350 a month for it. And I hit my milestone of clients that I wanted to sign. So that price has gone up. What's the next and then, price point? Um, we're thinking 500 a month yeah, or maybe even more. So it's something I'd like to discuss further. <laughs> and my other package, uh, including the four training sessions on the floor, um, I'm pricing at 600 bucks a month. 
which is something I've never even done before. You know, I was giving out sessions at 40 bucks um, just because of the competition that I had with where I was working and um, the, the clientele in my demographic was, um, I guess, a bit lower end. They didn't see the value in, in the service. So I kind of priced myself according to uh, what the demographic was willing to pay. And I now realize that I'd rather not even have a single client on the floor at $40 um, and have one at 80 or $70, you know, more worth uh, my, my time, my knowledge and my expertise. All right. Because valuing your time more, it sounds like has been the biggest kind of shift so far, which is kind of the first step before you can start really scaling up and growing this thing. Right. And so it was great so far is that you've already had that mental shift of, valuing your expertise and knowledge um, so that as we start to really crank things up you can start feel you can start feeling more valuable of your time that you have and just take on the right type of clients the type of clients that are going to pay you your worth so that you can grow this business to to where you want it to be so you know just for anyone who's maybe on the bench jesse or curious about what the personal translate academy is all about or, or maybe you know, need a bit of help to, to move their life and business forward. Could you share just a couple words just to kind of summarize, you know, where you are so far um, and yeah, just maybe encouraging them to, to maybe reach out to get the help they might need. For sure. Um, I think if you're someone that's even listened to Lee's um, free uh, video that he released on Facebook, you're, you're already putting yourself in a position where uh, you, you're telling yourself you need the help. Um, you should invest in your business as you would invest in yourself or invest in your car or your house or whatnot, right? Because um, I find a lot of people tend to get scared of the price of certain services and then tend to back away, but they won't bat an eye spending $300 for a bottle of alcohol at a club on a weekend, right? So I, I think a lot of it's going to come down to how much do you really um, care about your own business, right? If someone want something bad enough they'll find a way to make it happen right and for everything you get it literally when you break things down to a value uh to a dollar value for what you get it comes out to it's i can't even explain it it's just you get so much for what you pay for that once once you see what you get the price you paid is just already out of your mind like you just don't even care anymore just focused and you take things severely more seriously. And I think that anyone that even wants to scale the business up um, to the next level should definitely invest in this without, you know, thinking twice. Um, I think it's one of the best investments that anyone can do for themselves and their business. Um, and take it from me, someone who, even before I jumped into this course, I told Lee, I'm like, listen, man, um, I was not in a good place financially. Um, I couldn't afford the course, but I made it happen. I had to do what I had to do to jump on board because I knew that this will get me to where I want to be and I won't have any more financial difficulties here on out, right? Because I'm going to have all the tools I need and all the um, coaching and guidance to bring my business to where it needs to be to um be successful in every aspect and 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 keep growing moving forward i appreciate you sharing that jesse and to anyone who's watching this video who's maybe feeling inspired right now there's a link maybe somewhere around this video you can click the link and apply to speak with me but jesse thanks so much for your time i'm excited for what's to come we still got a lot of work to do but a lot of exciting things to come for you so yeah looking forward to it and thanks for your time today thank you so much lee i appreciate it